For this lesson, I went to the internet and I downloaded some HR data. And what I want to do is to show you some cool tricks with filter formulas. So let's start. The problem statement I have is the following. I want to pick up the employee name here that I'm gonna color in gray. And I want to pick up the department for everybody who has a salary above $75,000. Now, if you use the normal filter formulas, those two columns have to be adjacent in order to pick them up. So how do I do to filter my data and pick up those two columns without those three columns in the middle? First of all, I'm going to transform this data set into an Excel table. Why am I doing this? Because if you add data at the bottom of this data set, you want your formula to automatically pick up the data and automatically give you the result. So if you have it like this, it will not do it. Let's start. We're going to click here and then do insert table. Then it will identify your data. You say my table has headers and you say, okay. And then you get your Excel table. You can change the name and call it, for example, HR data. And you say enter. Next, we're going to use the filter formula. So if I do equal filter, I open the parenthesis and then I select this data set from employee to department. I go down. So this is control shift and arrow down. Then I do a comma. I need to know what to include. What to include is the salary. It's this. So I can select my salary column again, control shift arrow down. And then I want my salary bigger than, I go up again and select my $75,000. And then you see you have another argument which say if empty, what do I want? Let's not fill this one. It's an optional argument, so that's fine. We close the parenthesis. If you see I got the name, then I got the sex, marital description, date of birth and department. So now I need to filter those three columns out. How do I do this? Basically, I have to do a filter on top of a filter. And that's the magic trick. So here we write filter. We open the parenthesis. And then my array is this, what we got, which is this result. Then I need my include. So I do comma at the end. And then I do curly bracket and then close curly bracket. And then close parenthesis. Now I need to fill this curly bracket. The trick is very simple. Every column that you want, you will write one. Every column that you don't want, you'll write zero. So for example, I want my employee name, right? That's my first column. So I want it, I will write one here in the curly bracket, comma. My second column, I don't want it, right? So I'm gonna put zero, comma. This one, I don't want, zero. Date of birth, I don't want, zero comma, and then department I want, I do one, and then I press enter, and this is the magic. As you can see, I'm getting, for example, this person, 8CD, who's getting more than 75,000, but I don't get Mr. Wilson, who's getting less than $75,000, and so on. And this is how you get your data set. We're going to do the same thing, but using unique values. So in this exercise, I want to get all the unique positions and department combinations. And again, as you can see, they are far apart. So how do I do this? It's the same concept. We're going to start with a filter to get those columns, and then we're going to remove those columns in the middle. So we're going to do equal filter. You open the parentheses. My array is now this to this. I go down, control shift, arrow down, comma, what to include. In this inclusion, I'm going to use my trick of the curly brackets. So I go, I say, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then close parenthesis. And I start. I want my position, yes. I don't want my employee name, so zero. I don't want sex, marital status, and date of birth, so three times three zeros, and I want my department, so I want one, I press enter, I get my data. 
Now on top of this filter, I need the unique values, right? So we do unique here, as you can see, and then we close the parenthesis. And that's it. So we have our filter data. We press enter. This is my unique filter data. You can see this. Those are all my positions and departments. Next thing I want to show you is that if I add an employee, so for example, I'm going to do the, his position is P1, his name is N1, then he's DPT1, and his salary is $80,000. So we added one employee. As you can see, if I go up, you can see that Mr. N1 is here automatically. And you will see that there is a new position called P1 and then a department one. So if you like this lesson, stay with me for the next lesson because I'm going to show you how to do sorting by salary on top of this. So how to have data and sort it by another column that is not even in my filter.